The iPhone SE 2018 might not be what we expected after all. We finally get a launch date for TCL's BlackBerry Key 2, and some of us are celebrating, and Amazon reveals the final colors and price tag of the OnePlus 6. I'm Jaime Rivera, and yes, we're going to get you all the coverage from that OnePlus 6 very soon. I'm heading off to London, like, now. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Uh, obviously, we were waiting for a more affordable MacBook Air, which didn't happen. If you're in the market and you want to get yourself a current MacBook, it is currently $300 off at Woot. Uh, obviously, it depends on the variant and what you're looking for, but it's starting at 1000 bucks. You can learn more in the description. Definitely worth it. So it seems that Amazon already spilled the beans on the OnePlus 6. We're just about to get there, so obviously we'll get you the official details. But according to Amazon, rumors are pointing to a price tag of around 520-something bucks. $50 more, depending on the tier that you're looking for. We've got information on the color variants, and apparently the launch date is going to be May 22nd, which is really close. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this device. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 as uh, we've got more trusted sources now from Korea that are pretty much confirming that we are not getting the on-display fingerprint sensor on this phone. Apparently the main reason why is because uh, the company is using this ultrasonic sensor, which we've already seen in other products, and uh, apparently there are challenges in being able to mass produce. And it makes all the sense in the world. I mean, Samsung has been pretty much following that scheme of we're going to leave the flagship things for the Galaxy S, and then we're just going to add a couple of extra things to the Galaxy Note. So probably this is going to be the approach. And you know what? We've got a fingerprint scanner in a reachable position now, so I'm looking forward to this. Now let's move the spotlight over to the BlackBerry Key 2. Apparently that is the final name for the product. It was codenamed Athena, I believe. And uh, we hear that uh, the event is going to happen on June 7th. This is official from BlackBerry, by the way. Yes, we have our press invitations. Yes, we will be covering it live. Yes, I can't wait because I like the Key 1, but there were a couple of things that I really wanted from that device. And bear in mind, I am a former hardcore BlackBerry user uh, from the Bold 9900 being my favorite device, so I can't wait to see what the company pulls off, as apparently they're going to come up with something awesome here. And finally, the most interesting news today have to do with the iPhone SE 2, as, uh, okay, I'm gonna call these rumors probably bogus, but bear with me here, as uh, we've got some rumors that say on one end that, uh, you know, and from case makers, that the design is going to be this uh, glass on glass, but with the iPhone uh, SE design and a notch and everything, but then this source from Japan is saying, no, it's not going to happen in Q2, don't expect it at WWDC, and the design is not going to look like the current iPhone SE, and even though there will be a notch, apparently the notch is not going to guarantee guarantee face ID. These are very polarizing rumors and we're getting really close to WWDC. Uh, so in today's question, let us know. If you had to pick, would you prefer the iPhone SE design with all display and glass, or would you prefer some other design? Because I'm even hearing conflicting parts of this rumor that say that this display is going to be six inches. That doesn't make sense. The iPhone 10 doesn't have six inches in the display diagonal. Leave us a comment down below. I would prefer the iPhone SE design to stick a little longer with an all-display design, but that's just me. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's Pocket Now Daily up here and our thoughts on the camera of the Samsung Galaxy S9 down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow from London at some point.